Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Welcome everybody. We're going to take a look at the Flak 37 by Trumpeter. Now, this is one of the defense weapons that I will be putting onto the train that I'm building in the uh, rail link group build. So we'll start from scratch and we'll run through it. It's Trumpeter, it's 135th scale, it's a flat 37. The length of it is 159 millimeters, width 76.8 millimeters. And it's not suitable for children under the age of three, so that puts me right out. Now, kit number, let's have a look. Ah, we have a kit number. The kit number is 02310. Uh, box art, nice box art. Uh, on the side, all we have is a picture of the trailer. And on the far side, we have a picture of the actual finished gun on the trailer and just showing you that there is some PE. Uh, a little bit of general information about the Flak 37. So let us get into the box, he says. Small kit, not gonna be many parts. Uh, we've got two, uh, three, four, we've got five uh, sprues of parts for the actual gun. And in the bottom here we have the workshop manual, which we'll have a look at in a moment. We have a, a painting and marking guide, which we shall have a look at in a moment. We also have uh, one fret, oh sorry, two frets of PE. Uh, I think this is exactly the same as what we had in the other one. Uh, it's actually the gun shield. So that will be interesting. and. By the shape of it, it looks like I'm going to have to get my soldering iron out to solder that one up. And also right in the bottom of the box, we have a pack of decals, decals, transfers or stickers, whichever you'd like to call them, is fine by me. And we should take a look at them as well. So, everything's out of the box. That's an empty box, so what we'll do now, we'll get on and we'll have a look at the workshop manual. Okay, the workshop manual, but first we'll have a quick look at the painting and marking guide. Uh, colour call outs, uh, Mr. Hobby, Vallejo, Model Master, Tamir, and Humble. Uh, the Humble, we've only got one, and that's the field grey. The Tamir, we've only got the one, the FX22, which is the field grey. Uh, Model Master, we've only got the one, and that's the black. Vallejo, we've got the uh, black and the field grey. And Mr. Hobby has got the whole lot, including the tire black. So make make of that of what you will. Uh, moving on, we move on to the uh, workshop manual. Normal stuff on the front, safety uh, instructions, telling you to read this before assembly, showing you the symbols for not cementing and cutting and removing things normal gum onto the first page we have on the inside we have a sprue map showing you all the parts all nicely numbered up nice and clear which i like to see now assembly of the gun uh i ain't gonna linger too long because it's it's quite straightforward so it's assembly of the gun i ain't gonna mention name any parts because i can't the gun barrel that's about as much as i can name uh second page is just dealing with all the bits and pieces the seats uh the assembly of well the assembly of the actual gun itself should i say on to part three uh the front shield going on and like i say this has got to be bent up and i think i'll end up probably soldering them joints just to make them a little bit more rigid uh, then we've got the actual base, uh, the gun going on to the base, nothing, and it's quite straightforward, which I really like to see. And the final page is the assembly of the actual trailer. Nothing fantastic, well, nothing over complicated, which is good. 
Now, that is the workshop manual over and done with. I should put you on pause. We'll drop the camera down and we'll take a look okay, at the Okay, the first sprue is WP. Now, this sprue is exactly the same as what's in the Flak 38. Uh, I'm not long just done a review on this actually, but well, the 38, and this sprue is exactly the same. So we've got uh, uh, the mud guards, we've got a pickaxe, we've got the inside of the wheels because the wheels are all cast in one piece and you just have an insert to go in the back. We have the sh sh chassis, chassis for the trailer. Oh, see his teeth breaking him in for the dog. Uh, all nice and clean. There's a note there to scream and shout about. Uh, what detail is there is nice and crisp, so no problems with that at all. So moving on, the next brew is WL, and this is mainly the actual uh, gun itself. Right now, I'm pleased to see that if you're not too good on PE, they've actually given you the uh, gun shield there as well in styrene so you have got an option uh, moving down uh, what we got I don't know what we've got I really don't know we've got a few handles and wheels uh, we've actually got the side to the actual gun itself the support brackets that's about as much as I can tell you we have the lower half with the right well elevation should we say the elevation uh, cog on it uh, these bits I'm not quite sure they're probably something to hold the gun shield on with but all nice and clean no flash what detail is there is nice and crisp uh, can't ask for no more so moving on right this is sprue WK uh, this contains well a lot of the bits for the actual gun I, I, I can't mention I can't name them I don't know them I know that one it's a seat but there you go. Uh, all I'm looking for now is to make sure they're all nice and clean and all formed up. Uh, all, they all look nice. Uh, the gun looks nice. It looks really nice. And also, it's the barrel's been hollowed out at the end, so that is even better. Uh, ammunition, the shells for the actual gun there as well. They look uh, pretty good. Uh, they look pretty clean as well. All in all, quite happy with that. All the parts are nice and clean. That's a bonus. So that is uh, WK. Okay, sprue WT. This is the actual uh, part that the gun sits on. Uh, not a lot you can actually say about it. No flash, nice and clean. And that's about it. That's about as much as I can say. So, moving on. That was WT. This is sprue A. Uh, this has actually got the wheels on. Uh, exactly the same as the 38. There's, I think it's exactly the same, actually. Actually, the same sprue. Just two connecting points. The wheels are done. Oh, out of shot there. The wheels are done all in one piece. Just put an insert into the back. Uh, which makes life a lot easier but all nice and clean nicely detailed quite happy with that and that is sprue A okay we've got a bit of PE here this is the uh, front shield in PE uh, I can't say anything else it's reasonably thick we've got plastic on it which I do like because it just makes it easier to cut the parts off they don't ping all over the place and especially when you've got delicate parts like that it keeps it all nice and uh, together uh, yeah there's nothing more to be said about that bit we also have a uh, a little bit of a tiny fret here I don't know quite what that's for but we will find out uh, this has got plastic on as well which is uh, nice I do like it with the plastic on so that is the PE all we've got to look at now is the uh, decals, decals, transfers or stickers. Uh, I've still got them in the packet. I'll get them out and we'll ha have a little closer okay. look. See if we can get them so you can actually see what you've got on there. It's going to be difficult because they're in white. But we've got some 
score markings at the top there and then we've got some planes more planes I think they're even tanks there so you got quite a, a, a good selection of scores there to go on the side and on the barrel like I say I've used trumpeters decals before I've never had no problem with them they've never disintegrated with me uh, they are always pretty light on the carrier film as well which is nice but that is it now I'm going to put them down there to stop the camera from going mad and I'm going to click that back onto autofocus and I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me because that is everything that's in this little kit hopefully you'll join me on the next one until then thank you